All right, here we go, guys. And in the never-ending search for an affordable fishing boat, I wanted to talk about Craigslist scams. And this is becoming more and more prevalent in the industry. And, uh, you know, bad actors are taking advantage and becoming very sophisticated in doing so of people wanting to find an affordable boat. And you'll see some clips here of uh, Sweeney, Doc, and I at the Miami Boat Show, February 2020. Some really impressive boats. And when, and when we say impressive, we don't just mean features, number of engines, but we're talking about price tags here. And, you know, it was rare to find a twin engine, 30 foot class boat for under 200,000, very limited options there. And, and, you know, some of the boats there were well in the seven figures. Um, and what happens if you're just a, a, an average Joe, just want a, a, a small boat, a 20 to 25 footer, single engine, and you don't want to break the bank? And Craigslist is a great place to try and find boats like that. Um, and scammers know that, and they're becoming very sophisticated in taking advantage of people looking for such a boat. And uh, I thought I'd do a video, and, and we actually found the perfect boat for that, a brand I used to own, a Cobia 220, a 2017 model with a Yamaha F200 and a trailer, under 250 hours, warranty left, and it was being offered for 30000 which, believe it or not, is a really, really good price. If this was my boat and I was selling it, I would sell it for... 50, or I would ask 55000 and probably take 50000 for it. Um, and, and how do they do that? Well, again, the, the, the word you're going to hear me say over and over is sophisticated. And let, let, let's take a look at that. Let's start with, I replied to the Craigslist ad and, uh, you know, I sent my contact information, my email, my phone number, and, you know, let them know. And you'll see the, the clip here that I was extremely interested in the boat. Um, and I did receive a response back saying, basically, um, you know, thank you. This, is, this isn't my boat. This is my mother's boat. And the mother's name, coincidentally, happened to be Dr. Tiffany Sanders, um, you know, trying to lure you in that this is a doctor selling the boat. Um, and, you know, please email my mother. She can give you all the details. And yes, the boat's still for sale and all that good stuff. And, and that's what I wound up doing. And uh, eventually, eventually, Dr. Dr. Sanders, um, and I'm doing that in air quotes, which you can't see, but Dr. Sanders did write back to me telling me that, yes, in fact, the boat was still available. And, um, you know, while the English, and that's always one of the red flags, how is the English in these responses? While it wasn't uh, what I'd say necessarily American English, it, it wasn't that poorly written that you're thinking, you know, Nigerian internet scam here. It wasn't quite the case. Um, but there were some interesting things like, uh, you know, please my, please accept my sincere apologies. The reason for the delay was we were out for the holidays, two weeks in Hawaii. I assure you that this delay will not recur. I mean, who talks like that? Um, you know, it, trying to buy your trust is what they're doing here. Um, and she mentions that she has a consigner selling the boat, that uh, everything will have to go through them. Um, I write back that I'm still interested. Please call me or, you know, can I look at it? And, uh, you know, she writes back again, um, telling me the whole history of this this site that's selling the boat. Um and so it's a motor, motors point, uh, something or other. It's, it's here in the description. Um, and now I'm thinking, okay, is this a legitimate site or not? Uh, that, that would be red flag number one. Um, so I decide I'm going to Google this site and, and see what the story is. I mean, is this a legitimate, uh, you know, and here's their website, motor, motor yard point sales. Um, I'm going to see, is this place legitimate? Is it not legitimate? When you put in the, the inventory number, the, the boat does come up again at that very low price, 30,000. And they're including, this is the best part, 1,000 miles of free shipping. Like who does that? Who, who is selling their boat that below, uh, blue book value and offering free shipping and then offering over a thousand miles, only 75 cents after that. And, you know, they promise all these guarantees and this and that and seven day return. And um, I mean, it, it just sounds too good to be true. And usually if it does, and you're not allowed, and this is the key thing here, you're not allowed to inspect the boat. Um, 
you know, before you buy, if they want to, they, and not through a hard sell, but through a soft sell, right? They're not really pressuring you that much, but they are saying certain things that should clue you in that this is a scam. Um, so if, if you do Google this entity, um, it, it, it's very interesting what you come up with. And we'll, we'll see that here in a second. And specifically what you're going to see is that there's this, there's a few websites that give it all five star ratings. They look legitimate. Again, many different types of vehicles purchased from here, boats and cars and pickup trucks. And, you know, I'm thinking, wait a second. Now, did I jump the gun here? Because this does look legitimate. But when I put in the email address of this site that allegedly has all these great reviews, something interesting came up. And what was so interesting about it, you say, well, serveindi.org appears to be some Peruvian website. It, it, it certainly does not appear to be a consumer-based uh, feedback site. And, uh, you know, all I can say is these hackers are getting, the, the word again, sophisticated, these scammers slash hackers. Clearly, they have uh, compromised part of this uh, non-U.S. Peruvian website and, uh, you know, created a section within it where these fake reviews are stored. And they make you believe that, yes, indeed, there's all these people, 21 people giving it five-star review. The transaction was smoothless. You have nothing to worry about. Rest assured, this is legitimate when, in fact... Um, you know, if, if you Google this, this is the only reviews that show up and it's, it's on this non-US website, it, right? Red flags galore here. Um, and now you're thinking, okay, so it's a scam, obviously, but, you know, how would people lose money here? And that, that's an excellent question. And it's, they built your trust. You've, you've done your research. You see all these reviews. You've talked to somebody with a, a great title like doctor in her name. And now you're prepared to move ahead and they send you an email basically stating, or Dr. Sanders does, and we'll see that here. Hey, I'm ready to move ahead if you are. But by the way, I have another offer. So please let me know now if you understand what's happening here and you're ready to move through the third party site and we're good to go. And that, that email is right here on the screen. And guess what? You're, you're going to say yes, which I did. They're going to send you another link to a registration site. You're going to send, you're going to wire your $30,000 to them. You are never going to see that money again. And no matter what you do, and I, I work in financial services and anti-money laundering, that's my nine to five job, that money will get converted to cryptocurrency faster than you can blink and it's gone. And the FBI can't do anything about it. No one's going to be able to help you. These are most definitely not U.S. persons operating this scam. And, uh, you know, lessons learned here, if the deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Never buy a boat without having the opportunity to inspect it first. And lastly, you know, scammers are getting more and more sophisticated. I'm telling you, you will think it's legitimate. The, the, the person's name will sound right. You'll find reviews that it's legitimate. But if you don't have an opportunity to inspect the boat in the first instance, even if they say you will, absolutely, positively, do not make that deal. You are going to lose your money. Nobody in their right mind sells boats for, you know, 50% below blue book value and offers free shipping for a thousand miles and, you know, all that other stuff that Dr. Sanders was, was promising me. Um, and you don't have, you know, the opportunity to look at the boat. Um, they don't do that. It's a scam. Uh, so buyer beware. And don't forget, if you, if you do find a legitimate deal, and there are legitimate deals out there, um, always inspect the boat. Even if it's a $10,000, $5,000 purchase, it, 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 you know, it may not make sense that you're going to spend five, dollars $600 to, to have a survey or look at a boat that, you know, that's 10% of the asking price. 
but that 5,000 can quickly mushroom into 10,000 if there's structural damage, if the transom's not in good shape. Um, and I'll include a link at the end of the video um, to my used boat buying experience from 2019 when I finally bought my CV, but I had two boats fail survey. Um, and thankfully, I did get both boats surveyed, even though they were very well-known late model brands. Um, I would have been dealing with headaches galore had I not had those boats surveyed. I uh, hope you found this video uh, informational. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button.